Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Yes, I'm back. This is a quick update video as we come out the other side of a flood that we had in our local area. Um, it has done immense damage to our suburb. We were extremely lucky. There are people in our suburb that are just have lost everything. Um, to explain, we had a small cyclone coming across Jasper Category 2 and it moved over. It did a bit of wind damage, but nothing major, but it brought rain and it brought a tropical depression and it didn't want to move and it rained for days. I think the estimated rainfall um, now is we had 1,680 millimetres of rain. At the back of our property on the nature strip, a fair way back is a creek and that creek has come up to the back fence before, but it hasn't flooded our property. Well, with all that rain, it came through the back fence and we got flooding. I say we were lucky because we became 0.5 of a centimetre of before it came into the house because we worked extremely hard to divert it down the side of the house. We had two flowing rivers down the side of the house and when it was all over and said and done, that hard work paid off. We had a bit of mud in the sliding door track and the blankets and towels that I'd put against it inside were damp, but that was it. It was unusual, I can say that. To my right of me this side, the neighbor, the flood went way through her house and has destroyed everything. To our, this side of us, our neighbor had nothing. It just came up their driveway and the neighbor next to them, it came to their back patio. The reason I know that is these two people were away and our neighbours this side were up on the table and visiting their um, in-laws and parents and they text asking if we could check on their property. Now unfortunately Reeves had had a biopsy on his leg and the wound was open and was told to take extreme care not to get it wet or infected. So thing went out there and it was flowing it was above his knees and it was caught there were snakes getting floating away and yes it was quite risky but he did check it for them and sent them photos because the panic and the, the not knowing what's happened to your property will cause you great anxiety anyway we are out through it we are the other side of it there'll be a few photos and a bit of minor video at the end to show you what happened around the suburb where the, we are worse off or they are worse off than us we are fine i've been to work the last two days till about lunchtime mainly because the water did flood our shed and we have a lot of stuff in the big shed reeves um, things big shed and um it needs to be sorted the council are organizing curbside pickup for damaged goods such as fridges, furniture, um, green waste. Next door had a pile of green waste in their property, like palm trees and palms, but no water damage. Our shed got water damage, and yes, we have to start sorting through that. We have been cleaning up patios and other things. So I work half a day, and then I come home and work cleaning up. So if I look a little tired and disheveled, well, that's just the way it is. I'm not going to apologize. Guys, I'm doing this video mainly because I want to thank everyone who sent messages of support and prayers for us. I firmly believe you got us through this. And today I happened to pick up some mail. I've got a bit of happy mail to share with you guys. And um, before the actual flooding and it was raining, I did finish some objects. And hopefully I'll get to share that with you. But if I don't get to share that with you before Christmas, have a great Christmas and stay close to your family. So, what else can I say? Not a lot really, life goes on. 2023 is going out with a watery bang and 2024 will come and we will start with new opportunities and challenges in 2024. So make sure you check out the Make Along on the 1st of January, Shuttlebug AU. Everything will be back to normal for me when internet is back to normal. The internet was, well, the main cabling between, for the internet between our suburb and the suburb over there, one of them is severely damaged. So we get intermittent internet. It is 
the 23rd, no, the 22nd of December, late at night. And I'll try and upload this, but I can't guarantee when you get it. It's um, just one of those things. We just have to wait till they can repair it. Um, I really want to thank the first responders. They were brilliant. And our armed forces. The number of helicopters going overhead, lift, airlifting people out from this suburb where it was probably really worse hit than we were. And when you see some of the pictures, that will be hard to believe. They were brilliant. Unfortunately, someone in our suburb did lose their life. They had a heart attack and the first responders just couldn't get to them. The rain and the flooding just made it impossible. Um, they passed away. And that's just, it's really sad for their family at this time of year. And our thoughts are with them. So guys, motivated me to do this video was I received a beautiful e-card from Janet Lepre. And I want to thank Janet because I've been sitting around feeling sorry for myself. And you certainly made me feel better. It was beautiful e-card. And I want to thank you personally in an email when I get into that. So stay tuned, watch, watch a few videos and photos, not very much. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and make sure you tell your family you love them. Bye for now.